happy travelers! We're back at the airport. Today we are headed to Colorado. We're going to spend a couple days in Colorado Springs and head up into the High Rockies. We have a two hour flight to Denver from LA and then we're going to drive to Colorado Springs which is about an hour to an hour and a half. Let's go. Let's go to the airport. They changed the gate. Two terminals over. Get my steps in for the day. So it has really not been a smooth travel day so far. It took a really long time to find a parking spot and then we went to the wrong terminal and then we, we went to the terminal we're supposed to be in but there's no counter there so we had to come back to this terminal. And it's just been kind of bumpy, and I don't know what's going on. You'd think that we had never done this before, but we're slowly making our way to where we need to be, and we still have time, so that's good. We are having a challenging travel day. I didn't think Kevin was gonna make it because his information was wrong, so we had to go back to another terminal. So he had the food, so I just went and bought $45 worth of food, but he made it. So we're trying to return the food, but their system is offline. Oh my goodness. The good news is we're all here at the same gate and hopefully we're gonna all make it on the flight to Denver on the first try. So I really can't ask for more than that. As long as that happens, the rest of the day doesn't matter. So fingers crossed. We're not sitting together, but we all made it on the flight. This is the best thing. It's the best situation. Yay! All right, so we just made it to Denver. Luckily, after that crazy, stressful, complicated traveling time in LA, that's over. We all made it here, and this is the most crowded I've seen an airport since before COVID. This, I was not expecting this many people, but I guess travel's back, baby. So for the first few days of our trip, we're traveling with my brother and my dad, so you'll get to meet them on the vlog. <laughs> Say hi to the vlog. Hello. <laughs> so we're spending about a week in Colorado. The first half is going to be mostly family time because we have family in Colorado Springs that we're going to visit. And then the second half, after my brother and dad go home, Kevin and I are going up to the High Rockies, Summit County up near Breckenridge, hanging out with some old friends and doing some nice hikes and just basically enjoying the fresh mountain air. How's it feel to be back in Colorado? It's pretty good. I used to live here. I lived in Colorado for five years, so. It's been a few years. It's been a little while. was extremely crowded, just like the airport. Who knew it was gonna be so crowded? I know it's summer, but I just wasn't expecting it to be like, I don't know, pre-COVID levels, I guess. But we eventually got our car. There was an interesting development on our flight. My dad, who's back there, was sitting next to, apparently, the manager of a punk band. The band is playing a show in Denver tonight, and the manager invited us all to come see this punk show. The band is NoFX which is a band that Kevin listened to when he was a teenager, so he is super excited. <laughs> With backstage passes, I might add. A little unexpected turn, but it sounds super fun. If you learned anything from travel, though, it's that you have to take those unexpected turns and take advantage of those things when they happen. Go with the flow. That's right. And it has been a minute since any of us have been to a concert because of COVID and all that, so... And I've never been backstage at a concert. Should be fun. Okay, we didn't bring our big camera, 
but we're trying to walk to this punk, punk rock show right now. <laughs> we weren't sure if we were gonna do it, so we're a little bit late because we were trying to decide. But where the night will go from here, I have yeah. absolutely no idea. Who knows? <laughs> All right, we were doubting it, but we got them. All access uh, passes. Yeah. You gonna pop it on me? You try. And now we're officially back. Oh, you brought your what? You like eight? So it is now a couple of days after the last time you saw us and the reason we sort of took a couple of days off of vlogging is because we're really in Colorado Springs for a family trip. Speaking of tripping, let me go down these stairs and not fall, break my neck. And we wanted to spend some time just sort of in the moment hanging out with family and not be filming and taking photos and all that all the time. We've come to this area that's about an hour east of Colorado Springs. The area is called Painted Mine. There's just these really cool formations. It basically looks like you covered Utah in a prairie. Pretty much. There's all these prairies and fields and then all of a sudden there are these like Utah kind of like hoodies. formations and they're really really colorful. That's what they call it painted mines because it's got all these different colors. Even though we're still with my dad and brother we decided to pick up the vlog because this is just too interesting not to share. It's definitely a hidden gem that neither of us had heard of before. Yeah, there's a little walking path that's just off of the viewpoint, and that's where we're headed right now to go check out some of these formations. Whoa, look at this. What do you think? Who knew this was in the middle of the Colorado prairie? This is nuts. This park is super cool. It's definitely unexpected. When you think of Colorado, I don't know about you, but I definitely think of mountains. And since we were in Colorado Springs, obviously like Pikes Peak and the mountains up there are the big attractions. But the reason we came out in this direction in the first place is because my parents are thinking about maybe retiring out here. So we're just doing a little exploring. We found this place, it's super cool. Maybe don't recommend coming here in the summer. It is very hot and very exposed. So maybe like spring or fall would be your best bet. Oh, and one good thing about this park, it's free. This is so cool, it looks like Dr. Seuss. Who knew? That whole area was really, really cool. They do ask though that if you come, you do not go off of any of the hiking trails. I guess the formations themselves can be pretty fragile, so you don't want to destroy those or anything, but you can still see a lot of really cool stuff if you just stay on the little paths. And uh, it's definitely an awesome little side trip outside of Colorado Springs. If you're ever in this area, definitely check it out. We have come back to my dad's hotel. I uh, am stupid and accidentally booked us in separate hotels. So we're at his hotel right now. And we're just gonna hang out for a little bit. It's almost dinner time. And then we're going to check out the Colorado Springs food scene. Colorado is well known for its craft brewery scene, so we decided to come to a brewery tonight here in Colorado Springs, and we settled on the Colorado Mountain Brewery. Let's go. About an hour wait for this place, so we'll see maybe if there's another place nearby. Sometimes though, when they say it's an hour wait, it never is an hour wait. Yeah, sometimes it's like 15 minutes. Yeah, so we'll see what actually happens. Okay, so an hour wait was too long, so we're gonna go someplace else. Okay. Let's try this again. We came to a place called Pub Dog, which is a restaurant, but it is also a dog park, which is kind of the most Colorado thing I've ever heard of. <laughs> we obviously don't have a dog with us, but we like dogs and there's a lot of them around. And so we're sitting outside, we're gonna get some food and watch some dogs. Told you it was a dog park. That's too funny. I, 
<laughs> I couldn't stop laughing when I saw what it was. How's it taste? <laughs> you can see where I get it from. <laughs> Good morning, happy travelers. It is the last day that we are spending with my dad and my brother in Colorado. They're heading home to California today. So we're doing a little bit more exploration. We've driven about 45 minutes up into the mountains outside of Colorado Springs. We're outside of the town of Woodland Park right now. But we drove to Manitou Lake and we're gonna walk around and explore a little bit. But it is beautiful, the sun is shining, we're up in the fresh mountain air and I just love it. This is a great preview of what we're doing over the next few days because we're going to be heading up into the mountains, even higher up than we are now. And let me tell you, we're at about 8,000 feet right now. I'm getting a little out of breath. I don't know if I'm just out of shape, which is likely, or we're just high up. I'm gonna go with high up. Nah, it's a shape. <laughs> Shh, that's a brother for you. Don't ever have a little brother. Just kidding. My dad was craving some barbecue for lunch, so we've stopped at Rudy's Country Market and Barbecue before we take them to the airport in Denver. And A, it smells amazing, and B, it's super crowded, so I think we know it's good. This smells amazing, and I am super excited. Barbecue is one of those things where it's either really good or really not good. There's really no in-between. Got some jalapeno sausage, split the cold board. Let's give it a shot. Oh, it's good. It's real good. Jalapenos haven't kicked in yet. There they are. Worth it though. We dropped my dad and brother off at the airport. It was sad. But we are on our way up into the mountains. Uh, we're staying a few nights up in Summit County. But we've hit some weather. It's kind of raining a little bit and there's some thunder and lightning, which is not uncommon for every day in the summer in the Colorado mountains, apparently. But I think it's kind of cool because I grew up in Southern California and I never get weather, any kind of weather. So <laughs> I like it. I'm pretty happy. Fresh air, thunderstorms, nothing better. We have made it into Summit County. We're having a little bit of a hiccup. Yeah, so we went to go check into our hotel. We were supposed to be working with Best Western to give them some social media exposure and some photography and videography. Uh, but when we showed up, they did not have a reservation. And we tried to call our contact, but it is out of office hours. Yes. And so now we don't have anywhere to stay for the next four days. Yeah, it, it'll be fine. It's not really that big of a deal. Yeah, we asked if we could just buy a hotel room at the Best Western, but they're all full up and everywhere else seems to be pretty full too. So yeah. we're going to go do some research and we will report back soon and see if we can find somewhere to stay tonight. Yes. And while we're doing that research, it is Taco Tuesday and a margarita sounds pretty good right now, don't you think? <laughs> I think so. Let's do it. <laughs> so we're still trying to figure out the whole hotel situation, but we've got tacos and margaritas and that always helps me make important decisions like that. Okay, we have made it to a hotel for the next few nights. Yes, we figured it out. It was a little bit of an inconvenience, but honestly, I had some Hilton points. And if you watch our channel, you know how much we love Hiltons. And I'm gonna go ahead and link that credit card in the description so you can get free breakfast if you want. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, we definitely use a lot of credit card points, so that came in clutch in this instance. 
we were able to get a hotel for not too expensive. So I think that's going to be it for this vlog. So we're going to end this here. Make sure you subscribe. We have a lot of really awesome adventures coming up in the high Rockies. This is Kelly and Kevin from the Awkward Tourists. Peace out. I was in focus that whole time. Awesome. I'm out of breath because feel you say And we're just gonna hang out for a little bit. It's almost dinner time. We're gonna and we're gonna just hang out for a little bit. It's almost in So this is a great preview preview to go through Eisenhower Tunnel. You need to go through, to get 